This is the mobile app which we are going to create today on code.org environment in the app lab using the basic features, basic blocks which are available over there. So this is the first screen user is going to come across when he will open the app on his device. Now uh, this app is based on the principle of walkie talkie. So in order to use this app the user is required to first create his own profile on this platform so for that he needs to hit upload his profile pic a profile pic uh, using this image button over here he can do that so I'm selecting this one for now and I'm going to make use of this ID gaurav at the rate gmail.com for creating uh, a profile Okay, on this platform, now let's hit this login button and see what is going to happen. Hi, Gaurav at gmail.com. Your account has been created successfully. So the user will be able to hear this voice once his profile will get successfully created on this platform. Now let's hit this image button and see what's going to happen. So the user is going to come across this screen where he'll get to see uh, his profile pic, the pic which he uploaded while creating his profile and his ID. Fine. Now there is nothing visible over here in this drop down. It is just because there is only one profile which we have got created on this platform right now. Okay. So now let's create one more profile and see how can we update this drop down. You, uh, you know, by that profile, by the ID with which we will create the second profile. So for that, we are going to make use of this second browser. Fine. Uh, which is acting as a second device right now for us. Now we are going to upload a profile pic. I'm going to select this one for now and I am up creating a profile with this ID anita at the rate gmail.com. Okay, now let's hit this login button and see what's going to happen. Hi, anita at gmail.com. Your account has been created successfully. So, you know, as you can see, as you can hear uh, this artificial intelligence voice uh, has taken the name of anita at the rate gmail.com the id with which we created anita's profile earlier it took the name of gaurav at the rate gmail.com or the id with which gaurav created his profile okay so that's how i have coded this app now let's hit this image button and see what's gonna happen so here gaurav's uh, you know id will be visible to us now in order to update this drop down with the id or with the ID or with the things with the now in order to update this drop down over here with the ID of this Anita what we can do we just have to hit this uh, drop down and see Anita's email ID is going to get visible to us over here fine now let's send a message to Anita using Gaurav's ID hi Anita how are you doing so now let's uh, send this one to Anita so for sending this message to Anita what Gaurav has to do Gaurav has to hit this uh, label box message to Anita at gmail.com have been sent successfully so this is the voice which uh, Gaurav will be able to hear once he's done with sending the message to Anita now let's see how Anita can receive the message sent by Gaurav to him so for doing that, he just have to hit this button over here, hit this screen, which is visible to us. Hi, Anita. How are you doing? Okay, so Anita has successfully received the message. He, she's able to hear that message in the form of speech. If you want to select any particular language, so what she can do is suppose, uh, she is an Italian, so she can go for this Italian language. And if she wants to hear this in the male voice, in a male voice, so she can select the version from here. Now, if she will hit this image button again, that's how the message is going to. Hi, Anita. How are you doing? So now when she will hit this image button, the message Hi Anita, how are you doing? So this is the 
kind of uh, you know sound this is a kind of voice over which she will be able to hear now so you know these are the two drop downs with, with which you can customize the voice over the speech ayanita how are you doing so it's now a female version of this message right if you want to uh, hear it in this language suppose hindi hi anita how are you doing so you know this is how you can customize the form of the speech fine now let's send a message to gorav and see what is going to happen how can we send a message to gorav using anita's id hi gorav message to gorav at gmail.com have been sent successfully so message to gorav had been have been sent successfully now how the how gorav can hear this message he can select any language from here let's select this one and version i am selecting male version and hit this image button i got it yeah okay. okay how about you okay uh if he if he wants to hear it in hindi hi gorav i am okay how about you okay so that's how you know you can customize the speech form of the message now let's create one more profile over here using this third browser uh i'm going to select uh this image and here i'm going to create a, a profile using this abinav's id Fine, Abina one two three. Let's hit this login button. Hi, Abina at gmail dot com. Your account has been created successfully. Okay, so the account has got created successfully. Now let's hit this image button and see what's gonna happen. So Abina's profile pic is visible to us, and his ID is also visible to us. Now, if you'll hit this drop down, you'll be able to see Gaurav's and Anita's ID over here. So Abina's profile abinav's id is not visible to us because i have made use of an if loop for uh, putting a validation on this drop down over here fine similarly if you'll hit this drop down you'll be able to see abinav's id also so the drop down has got updated with abinav's id similarly here the drop down has got updated with abinav's id fine so that's how this app works this uh, that's how i have coded this app okay now let's uh, make use of this message box and send a message to gorav so this is gorav's profile hi gorav how was the day today okay and i'm hitting this welcome label message to gorav at gmail.com have been sent successfully so the message has got sent successfully now in order to receive the message what gorav has to do gorav has to select abinav's id from this drop down first and when he will hit this image button hi gorav how was the day today okay so he is able to hear that message in the form of a speech now if you want to change the language he can make use of this uh, drop down he got up how was the day today okay for version he can select this uh, second drop down he got up how was the day today fine now let's send a message to abhinav hi abhinav i am great it was a great day fine and let's send this message to abhinav message to abhinav at gmail.com have been sent successfully fine now let's hit this image button over here in order to hear the message hi abhinav 
I am great. It was a great day. Fine. Now, if suppose Abhinav want to customize the form of the speech, he can make use of these drop downs. I am Abhinav. Yeah, I'm great. It was a great day. Okay. So that's how this app works. Now, if suppose, uh, let's do one more thing. I'm going to create a new profile on this fourth browser using. Uh, Let's upload upload a profile pic first. So I'm going to use uh, this one, and here I am going to create a new profile using Nita at the rate gmail dot com, and this is a password which I'm giving, which I'm uh, you know entering over here in this password field. Let's hit this login button. Hi, Nita at gmail dot com. Your account has been created successfully. Okay, so this is the fourth profile. Which I have successfully created on this platform. Let's hit this image button. So as you can see here in this drop down, the IDs of all the other three profiles will be visible to us. Fine, and this is Nita's profile over here. Now what we are going to do? See, we are going to make use of a Python code in order to convert. Uh, you know. A speech form into the text form. If suppose Nita has uh, is visually impaired, okay. Suppose Nita is visually impaired, uh, or else you can say uh, he is his keyboard is not working. If a person's keyboard is not working, so how uh, he can manage to write down something over here in this message box? So in order to do that, what we can do, we can make use of This simple Python platform, this uh, simple Python code, in order to convert, in order to convert a speech form into a text into the text form. So what I am going to do, I am going to hit this tools button over here, and here I am going to uh, come on this build with option. Let's build this project on this Python platform. Hello. How are you, Anita? I am great. So you know whatever, uh, whatever message, whatever thing the user will speak, that is going to convert into a text form, and from here he can copy the message and put it in this message box. Fine. So. You know that's how she can uh, make use of that Python code in order to convert the speech form into uh, text into a text form. Now, in order to send this message to Anita, she needs to come here on this drop down and select Anita's ID from here. Now she can hit this welcome button to send this message to Anita. Message to Anita at gmail dot com have been sent successfully. Fine. Now, in order to receive this message from Nita, Anita needs to select the ID with which Nita created her profile on this platform. Now, hit this. Uh, let's hit this image button and see what's going to happen. How are you, Anita? I am great. So that's how Anita uh, can receive the message sent by Nita to her. Fine. And this is how we can make use of this simple Python code. In order to convert, uh, you know, speech form into text form. Okay, now let's find. Let, now let's uh, check out the code that we have made use of for creating this beautiful walkie-talkie principle-based app. So for doing that, we need to come here on this code.org environment. So you know the first screen user is going to come across on this environment when he'll open this app on his device is this is this one. Now there is a there are three components which I have defined over here. This is email. This is a password for the password field. This is for the button and this is for uploading the profile pic. Now when the user will hit this login button, what is going to happen? This is a code which is going to get executed, and here. uh you know uh, a table with name users will get created on the platform and everything 
whatever the user has entered on this login screen will get uh, saved inside this table so the email address the password as well as the profile pic which he has uploaded it is going to get saved in this photo column fine and besides that i have made use of this play speed button over here so this is the whole thing which the user will he will hear when he will hit this login button so you know that account has got success has been created successfully the voice this is how i have customized that voice over which the user will hear when he'll come on this screen and you know get text email i have made use of here in order to get the text from this email id so that the voice over uh, you know the voice over which the user will hear he'll be able to hear the email id the name with which the name of the email address with which he created his profile on this platform comes the code for this button so when the user will hit this image button this is the code which is going to get executed okay so a table a list with name user is going to get created and inside this inside that list all the email ids will be appended and this is a condition which i have defined over here so you know inside this if loop uh, i have this if loop that i have defined over here uh, you know i have I, I have defined an if loop over here in order to check uh the email ids in order to in order to put a check on the email ids uh in such a way that the email id should not match with the one which uh, which the user is going to enter here fine because i don't want to see that email id in this drop down which i have created on this screen too fine and this is the code which is going to uh you know get the email id reflected over here in this image in this label box and this one is going to get the profile pic which the user will upload while creating his profile on this platform reflected on this image button over here fine and uh, now comes the code for this drop down one so when the user will hit this drop down one this is a code which is going to get executed and it is you know very much similar to the code which i have defined over here for this image 8 okay so there is uh, hardly any difference the only thing uh, which you have to make sure is you don't have to put these two lines of code over here inside the on event block which you have defined for this drop down one fine rest everything is same okay now let's come on the coding part of this label 3 so when the user will hit this label 3 again a table uh, with this name you know the concatenation of the ids which is get which are getting reflected in this drop down and in this label box with that name a record a table is going to get created in which the sender's name the person who has sent the message his name will be there his id will be there the person to whom the message have been sent uh, his id will be there and the message will be there fine so these are the three uh, things which will get saved inside that newly created table when the user will hit this welcome button okay and uh, in order to receive the message what the receiver has to do he has to click this image 4 and this is a code which is going to get executed fine so this is it for this lecture hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot please do like and subscribe to my channel and also uh, do share the link of this video with the other students in their groups so that they can also come and enjoy these free online coding classes on my channel thank you very much and god bless you all